Okay, today I'm gonna to look at connecting one of these cheap little IR remotes to my Ranger. These remotes come with the remote, the little receiver, and some cables to connect him up. I found them on eBay for like $1.27, including international shipping. Right, that's the, the US price, and that includes free shipping. Do be aware that MakeBlock do make their own IR receiver that can do everything that this can do. Um, but I'm going to make my own, use my own custom block, because that way I can also get it to use any IR remote, not just this IR remote, but this is my TV IR remote, and I'm going to get it to receive commands from my TV IR remote as well. But as always, when I connect it up, I'm going to connect it up using one of my own cables, but you can just use the standard make block um, adapter as well. Right. I just use my own cable because I can make it myself and I don't have to buy one then. Okay, the connections are pretty easy. We're going to connect ground to the negative sign on the very top. VCC goes to the very middle pin. And then the signal pin, the S pin at the very bottom, can be either connected to the slot 1 pit pin or the slot 2 pin. I've chosen to connect mine to the slot 1 pin. Okay, the very first thing you'll have to do is download my extension with the IR reader in it. Now I've made a simple little program here. All it simply does is a forever loop. The first thing it does is it sets a variable called button to whatever the last reading of the remote was. And it says if that button is equal to the code for the number one button on my remote, turn it red. The button's equal to the code for the number two button on my remote, turn it green. Button is equal to the code for number three on my remote, turn it blue. If the code is equal to the um, middle button on my TV remote, then turn all the lights off. First thing people will ask is, how do I know what code goes with what button? And I'll show you that in a little bit. First of all, let's just upload this one and see him in action. Takes a little time to compile. And up he goes. So I can press number one and it lights up red. Press number two, lights up green. The camera doesn't show the green very well, but it is green. Lights up number three, oh, number three, turns blue. Right. Green, red, blue, green, blue, red, blue, green. And if I press that button on my remote TV remote control there, they all turn off. So here's my simple code I used to do it. At the moment, I'm going to get it to print the result of the remote via Bluetooth to an Arduino serial plotter, which I explained in a previous tutorial. If you don't have a Bluetooth, um, most people quite often just print it to the seven segment display here. Um, I'm going to be printing to Bluetooth. So I will upload this now. Come on up, Lord, baby. There she goes. After uploads, switch to a Arduino. In Arduino, I'll open up my serial terminal. Once it's printing away nicely, you can see at the moment it's just saying 0000. zero, 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 zero. As soon as I press and hold down number one, you'll see it gives me that code. When I press down and hold number two, it gives me that code. When I press down and hold number three, me that code. I could tell any button I wanted by doing the same thing. I could do the same on any remote. I can pick up here my TV remote and press that button on my TV remote and you'll see it coming up there like that. Right? I could say you want to know what that button is and he comes up. So you just got to face the, the remote at it, press the button and write down whatever number comes up. 